Hello everyone, welcome to another video in the quantitative methods for business series. In this video we'll be looking at decision tree using the silver decision online application. So in this uh, video we're going to look at the um, decision tree which involves sample information, whether to conduct a survey or not, which means it's not a simple decision tree, but rather a complex decision tree. Um, we still have the tree from the previous example, the basic tree that we call it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this subtree instead of starting from scratch, and I'm just going to cut it. Then I'm going to insert decision node. I'm going to paste the subtree that I just copied or cut. That would be to not conduct the survey, which is the basic tree. We're going to add a chance node for the survey, which is conduct the survey. And based on the decision of the survey, whether it's positive or negative, I'm just going to paste the same tree because it's the same structure and I'm just going to modify the payoff and probabilities. So you can see here we have the first one, the no survey, we're going to modify that in a minute. And I have this decision which has the subtree, so I'm going to paste it one more time. Okay, it just takes a while and it looks messed up at the beginning, but now you can see that I have no survey and whether it's a positive survey or not, we make a decision. So let's go back to the top and this is going to be the same thing. I'm not going to modify anything here because this is the basic tree. It was the same payoff. All I'm going to do here is go over here and say no survey. Okay, then I'm going to scroll down. So this option here would be to conduct the survey. So let's say survey. Okay. So I'm going to conduct the survey here. This is an outcome. I have no control over it. So it could be the survey is positive or the survey is negative. So the second branch would be negative result. Okay, so now based on the payoffs that I have for a positive survey and the probability, right, I'm going to go and modify those. So for this one here, I'm going to come over here and basically what I'm going to do is change the 200,000 to 196,000 because it's the 4,000 difference, or or instead of uh, doing it for all of them, we'll see that I can add it at the end as minus 4,000, which is the cost of the sample information, and I don't have to modify all these values. But instead, of course, I still have to modify the posterior probability as they were calculated. So I'm going to come over here and change this to whatever the posterior probability is in my example, which is 0 0.509. The second one here. Of course, I'm going to change it to uh, the posterior probability for it, which is 468, and the low demand, I'm going to change it to 0 0.023. And we're going to repeat the same thing here for the small plan, because it's positive result, it's the same posterior probability. So just change this to 509. And the moderate demand. Also I'm going to change it to 468. Okay. 
and of course this one is 0 0.0 203. This is if the survey is positive. The posterior probability, as they are calculated in my other video, for the negative survey, if it's high demand, it's going to be 0 0.023. If it's moderate, just going to click and change it to 0.543. And if it's low demand, the posterior probability was 0.434. So we're going to do the same thing here. This is going to be 0, 2, 3, sorry. And this one here will be 0 0.543. Of course, the low demand will also be 434. Okay, so we change the posterior probability for all of them. I don't have to touch the top one. So as I said, instead of changing all of these to subtract the cost of the survey, we can come to this node here, the survey node, if we conduct the survey, the payoff will be $4,000. That's the cost of the survey. So we enter it as negative, minus 4,000. And this way, you see that modifies all of these. Okay. So now we can see for the no survey, the payoff is still the same. 2,000, 200,000, 100,000, etc. And for the doing the survey, instead of 200,000, it subtract the cost of the survey. So it's 196,000 here, 96. Remember, this was minus 120. So now it's minus 124,000. Not only that, this is the decision from the basic tree. If we don't conduct the survey, it's 86,000. If we do conduct the survey and it's positive, it's 145,000. And if it's negative, it's 20,000, but we still have one thing to change, which is the probability that the survey is positive and also based on our calculation and the posterior probability, we got that it's 0.57 chance that the result of the survey will be positive, which means 0.43 negative, calculates it automatically. Okay, so now, when we look at the tree, this is still 86,000. Here, it's 91,000 without the cost of the survey. So, the decision is to go with the survey because it's 87,961, which is the cost from here, not no survey, which is 86,000. So, the decision would be at the end to conduct the survey and wait if the decision, uh, sorry, if the result of the survey is positive, 145,000 is to go as large plant. If the result of the survey is negative, 20,000 means what? Go as small plant. And that would be our decision. So conduct the survey and wait for the result. Positive result goes large plant. Negative result goes a small plant with expected payoff of 87,961. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to look for the video on how to calculate the posterior probability.